time now, and we are living local with Lila this Thursday. Tribe in Seminole Heights wants to open its doors yet again to families in Seminole Heights, but staffers, they really can't do it alone. Aid on your side, Lila Gross tells us how you can help this grassroots organization get back on its feet. One community organization is hoping to get some help at this time to make sure that your kids can actually get cared for while you go back to work. Tribe Seminole Heights, Kristen, can you tell us a little bit about what you need right now from the community? So we are looking towards hoping to reopen again soon this summer. And I think on the kind of forefront of everybody's mind is how are we going to take new sort of cleaning and sanitizing precautions. And we need to add some hand sanitizer dispensers throughout our um, nearly 3,500 square foot facility. So it's really quite large here. We need to get a company to come in and help us with a deep clean. We need to get some like industrial products that we can sanitize our uh, handheld instruments and Legos and those kinds of things that get handled every day. We're looking at about a 10 to $15,000 expense in order to reopen and you know we're trying to find ways to fundraise that money. So we're kicking off a new campaign. And Tribe in Seminole Heights is a big community organization. You're there for the kids, there for the parents. As folks are thinking about summer, can you tell us a little bit about what you do, what you're offering? Sure. So our typical model is that we offer 50 classes a week for kids, and they all only cost $5. And so we do things like baking, coding, cooking, science, art, yoga, music. We really have something for everyone. A special organization there for our kids in the Seminole Heights community. If you want to get involved, you can find out how on our WFLA app. I'm Lila Gross, 8 on your side.